Well, it's a problem many kids face, and this week some local students have been learning some skills to combat the issue of bullying. Fairfield Intermediate students got to have a little fun today, all while learning how to be an upstander. Local shows Megan Moore has the details. All week, students here at Fairfield Intermediate School have been learning about the tools they need to spot bullying and also how to act and stop it. Today, they got to have a little fun inside the gym for an assembly, and they got to see Keenan West, an anti-bullying speaker. Today, students got to hear more about what they've been learning all week in classes, the tools and skills they need to know bullying when they see it and to be proactive in doing something to stop it. Keenan's message today, not just through his speech, but adding some songs and dance moves, encouraging students not to be bystanders, but instead upstanders. He hit on all different types of bullying, verbal, physical, and also how students can bully by excluding others. He also noted how much things have changed over the years with easy access to phones and social media, now cyberbullying being a big issue. Principal Todd Hartman says he hopes students take away a lot from today. For us, Upstander Week is really more of a focus on understanding that it's important for our students to build positive relationships with each other and to know how they can help someone in need when they see an injustice occurring. Now, even though Upstander Week ends tomorrow, the principal tells me that they are learning skills and there are components of Upstander Week that they plan to carry through to the end of the school year. In Fairfield, Megan Moore, Local 12 News. Now, this program comes on the heels of the death of Emily Olson, a middle school student who committed suicide in 2014. Her parents filed a lawsuit against the school district saying she was bullied and that led her to take her own life. The lawsuit states the district knew about the bullying but did nothing to stop it. The principal wouldn't comment on the case today, but Fairfield City Schools has said it will defend itself appropriately.